Hi, it's Jan here from filmdev.com. Today I want to share a couple of cool tricks on how you can easily do sky replacement and key out things like clouds, branches and leaves in After Effects. So, here we have some drone footage with a borrowing and blown out sky. And I want to replace the sky with this stock photo here. Notice that I don't go overboard. For example, I haven't chosen a deep red evening sky with a sunset. Um, the trick to doing successful sky replacements is to use footage that matches the lighting in the rest of the scene. And an evening sky would not match the grey morning lighting or colors in this drone footage here. So I found a photo of similar brightness and saturation. So now go to effects and presets and type in extract. Then apply the extract effect to the drone footage. What the extract effect does is that it lets you easily remove the bright and dark parts of your footage. So drag this top right square to set the white point and remove the bright parts of the drone footage. As you can see the sky begins to appear below the footage. Then drag the bottom right square to change the white softness. It's like feathering the threshold of where you cut off the brightness in your footage. Next, you want to track the drone footage so that the sky can move with the foreground. It isn't really necessary here since there's not a lot of movement going on and the sky is so far out on the horizon. But it helps sell the illusion, especially if there's small movement. Then create a null, make the sky 3D and pair the sky to the null so that it moves with the footage. Now you need to position the sky to where you want it to appear using the anchor points. Finally, create a mask on the drone footage layer and feather the transition to make the foreground blend nicely together with the new sky. Here's a shot of my son walking out onto our balcony and we have some white clouds against the blue sky in the background. What if you want, say, a UFO to appear from behind the clouds? Clouds are usually thin in some places and thicker in others, so we need to keep this in mind. Whenever I want to key out clouds, I use the same trick. First, duplicate the footage of your scene and rename the new layer Clouds. Then place the UFO layer below the layer with the clouds. I've already gone ahead and tracked the scene with the 3D camera tracker since this was shot handheld and created some movement in the sky for the UFO. Then apply the extract effect to the clouds layer. But this time key out all the dark parts and leave only the clouds. Now dial in the black softness to make the clouds thinner at some points. This makes the illusion of the UFO emerging from the clouds more realistic. Another cool thing about this trick is that the bright parts of the blue sky will still be somewhat visible. This adds a bit of blue fog to the UFO, which makes it blend more naturally in the sky since it's far away. Now, of course you want to add color grading, better textures to, to the UFO and maybe even an artificial light in the sky if you want it to be perfect, but I think this is already a good basis to work from. Now, the last trick is to use different blending modes inside After Effects to key out things like branches and leaves and trees. Here we have a shot of some pine trees against a blown out sky, and we want to replace it with this sky instead. If I simply apply the extract effect to this, it will leave an annoying fringe or halo around the edges of the trees, and we don't want that. Instead, start by placing the tree layer above the sky layer. Set the blending mode to multiply, you'll immediately notice a difference. Because the clouds are affecting the trees, they don't look right. Try duplicating the tree layer with the multiply effect, and then turn down the opacity to get more of the details of the trees back again. And then, of course, always add a UFO. Because these clouds are mostly grey, I choose to cut out both some of the dark and bright areas using the extract tool to make it blend more naturally. So that's it basically. You can follow a more detailed step-by-step -step guide on filmdev.com if you prefer. I've posted a link in the description below. And 
good luck with keying out your skies.